here, but now here comes RRQ and Mega. Both Thai teams going up against one another. D2E gets the first knockdown. That's gonna be online 24 on the ground. So he spawns and G9. Look at that. They're providing suppressive fire while D2E goes in for the finishing blow. And Team Secret drops out on 14 plays. We're keeping our attention close to the side of RRQ Atina. They're trying to finish up pawns, but there's not gonna be that nade connecting. And how is Rapbile going for that revival? It's gonna be pretty hard to even play a draw from that little stone and over on the back we have Matoy taken out by Dixie as well. Here comes Baba at the same time. Need to wait. Scott and goes up to spray it down, but they are opting to actually keep themselves out of this one. And look at it, D2E knows that Pawns is right behind that rock, but because of Rothfire's position, he can't really go in for the finishing blow. Rothfire, he's already lost his vehicle as well. They blew it up in the earlier fight, so he has no means in terms of transportation. They're finding oh. two members down as well, Papa uh, Esports on this oh top no. of the hill. I'm going getting burned to death, and that's going to be killed towards the side of FFQ. How did that as well being caught into battle? He finds another fight against FFQ. FFQ finally getting a little bit of that heat as well from Baba A Esports. Baba A also getting pinned by G9 at the same time, but Bart will finish off that kill. And that's a hit up straight towards the side of Chopper. G9 not leaving him any sort of room, but F1, look at F1. He's getting saved by G9 himself. This is a weird little triangle group between FFQ, Bapa A, and RRQ. You have G9 supporting everyone at the back, and because Bapa A is too focused on FFQ, we spoke about that one man soldier. Bart wants to find a couple of knockoffs as well, but he has to be careful about his positioning, because if he actually exposes himself, RRQ can get a free Q onto him. I would definitely agree with that, and so far, Bart has been performing as one of the best players from BA Esports, and here comes Rob Fai. Oh, that was pretty much close, but d 2 e goes out was too potent. And here comes Bart, still pinning down FFQ. Only one tire pixel to get themselves secured, but Evo's Esports getting one off on the side of Superstars as well. That is pretty much tricky for FFQ to even leave that corner. Talk about precision, and they have the blue against the back. What can go worse for FFQ? But that doesn't matter. They have no time to take because Bapa uh, e See a little bit of that tense situation coming from the side of Evo's. Ernie's coming from the back as well, maybe that might be a great wraparound for our Atina. And while he's crossing the river, we have G9 providing suppressive fire over the rock, and because of that, Ooh. Evos, they cannot get out of those smokes. Look at that, four members hugging so tightly against one another against that rock, but how they get some third party action. Oh. Well. But that's gonna be a good name from Ernie, knocking two members out, or a junkhead on the floor, and it's down to Jaxi, can he do something? Look at that, Senior is already closing the distance between him and the rest of Evos. He spots out Jaxi right behind the side, there's D2E to support him as well. That's gonna be one knockdown. Just one more hit. No, he doesn't get it. But Evos, how are they still alive? Oh my goodness, the micro Uzi spray did not finish him up. And Uzi goes out with a bang. But that UZ been blown up by RRQ. And now suddenly RRQ is in the side, and we still have six alive. And ten kills are in the back for both RRQ Atina as well as Baba R Esports. And no matter what, both teams are still getting some great points out of this game itself. Pixie already spotting it out, and G9's gonna finish that one off by blowing up the vehicle as well. And now it's all down to Bard for Baba R Esports as well as F1 inside of the forest. I thought you were gonna try. Numbers don't lie. RRQ have won the most amount of games in A with the scene with Candy, and they are poised to pick up another round. Look at that. G9 pinning. Well, F1, he has a clear shot onto G9, but he knows that if he takes a shot, he will review his position. Oh he no. spots out Bart oh as no. well. That's one knockdown. Can he actually get the revive? He spots out the head and F1! A solo double Q! And he's in second place, but he gets G9 as well. But the solo claim here and RRQ Athena picking up the first chicken dinner of day.